31 Wicker Avenue. This is it. You sure? I'm sure. At last. That stench of stale grease about you reminds me too much of my old job. You worked as a waiter? I was a chef. And not in any old kitchen. At the maximum security penitentiary on Gore Island. Can't think of a better way to do time. And how do you think I met Alphonse? Playing golf? Oh Alphonse. yeah, Capone worked in the kitchen. On the subject of cooking, I know your blueberry pie had an extra something. Oh yeah, dude. What? Alphonse. So what now? You got a plan? Take a look around in case there's a rear exit. I'll take the main door. All right, I got My this. Pleasure. Let me do it. Approach Bacharini's house. You know what? Now we upgrade the GPU. This looks and is moving way better. A million times better. Everything has gotten a million times better. Can't play with that GTX 950. Interesting taste. Been centuries since a gardener visited this house. Maybe Bacharini's business isn't going too well. Bacarini. Hey, Macarena. Alright, let's hit the door. Can I jog again? No. It's okay. Let's try the door first. Baccarini? Carlo Baccarini? Nothing of interest out back. Sorry. You better come see this, Mr. Ness. I thought you just said there was nothing of interest. I don't know how to describe it. Boosh. Is that our man? Baccarini. Baccarini. Oh God. We have to find out who did this, and why. Let's go. You're the detective, Mr. Ness. Besides, Alfonso will want to see this. I'll be right back. All right. I have to establish how Baccarini died. Maybe the body parts can shed some light on the motive. I'll tell you what happened. Baccarini done pissed the wrong person off, dog. Like, they didn't just play with him. They said hello. Holy Christ. What the hell are we up against? We are up against... His eyes were pulled clean out of their sockets. Whoever did this, it wasn't their first time. Maybe. But if they committed any other murders like this, it's likely that the police found some of the bodies. Must remember to ask Alice. Must remember to ask Alice. Let me guess. See no evil. Speak no evil. His teeth were all pulled out before he was killed. The buildup of blood inside his mouth speaks for itself. New clue. Is uh, is that it? Oh, I'm really digging that jazz. A little jazzy jazz. It takes a strong man to tear that out. Or several. Alright, another clue. Oh man, it's all over my little patent leathers. Alright, door. <laughs> Jammed shut from the inside. You ain't even try to know. Between the two of us when Milton gets back. What do I gotta do? Um. Blood and some kind of sticky liquid. Blood and sticky liquid. All right, to the board. What do I do? It said to the board. Murder. Mutilation. What do I do? Maybe the 
body parts can shed some light on the mo maybe the body parts can shed some light on the motive. Maybe the body parts. Maybe the body parts can shed some light Do on I the like motive. Do I like hit? teeth were all pulled out. Use the clue. And what else? Maybe the body parts can shed some light on the motive. Did I find everything in the room though? Is that it? Oh no, let's see what's in here. Oh shit. I should have stayed in my diner. Is that it? What's over here? What's in the hands? Are these teeth from the body? Well, at least I know why his teeth were pulled out, more or less. Made him chew his own fingers? What is that? Looks like a doodle. Looks like a ritual. What was Baccarini mixed up in? Some crazy stuff. That's what that is. I'll tell you. Ain't nothing I ain't never seen. Is there anything else this way? No? Probably not. Yeah, it never is. Oh, now we can jog. This car looks too classy for a forger like Baccarini. Are there sufficient reasons to believe that when the murderer attacked Baccarini, there was someone else in the house? The first possibility to be ruled out is that the car belonged to Baccarini. Well, it could have been a witness, but we got to see if it belonged to him. Vermont plates. Someone drove a long way. Alright, so it probably ain't his. Let's go around the front of the car. Let's take a look in the glove compartment. Bingo. A man's cigarette case. Oh, B. One of the Baccarini clan? What is that it? I mean, can we find anything else? Board? What do you want me to do with the board? And what do I do? The first possibility to be a car with Vermont plates. Let me use one of those clues. The initials OB on a cigarette case. One, it has Vermont plates. Two, it's too luxurious for a criminal of his standing. Three, the initials on the cigarette case don't match his name. The next possibility that needs to be ruled out is that the car was stolen. There should be evidence that there was someone else in the house. Oh, okay, I'm liking this board. I see how it works. Let me go back. Can I keep going back? And I want to use this one. A sick altar of human flesh. We can't use that. Some kind of symbol drawn in blood. No. A teaspoon stained with blood and some kind of sticky liquid. What? What? A door in the corridor jammed shut. No. Maybe the body parts can shed some.
some light on the motive. Well, I looked at all the body parts. Okay. No, wrong button. Alright, we gotta look to see if there's someone else in the house. Looking for clues, looking for clues. Can't go upstairs. Is there something we're missing? Oh, we can move. Here we go. Pity he won't last till Christmas, because he'd almost pass for a tree. There's no doubt the murderer took his time. This isn't a cut, it's a tear. His hands were ripped off. Who has that kind of strength? Once he got stuck in there, looks like the bottom of a glass. It's Baccarini, no doubt about that. Although the one I remember was more together. Hmm. Couple more clues back to the board. The murderer tore Baccarini's hands off. Hands ripped off, teeth torn out. I guess I'll have to rule out criminal intent or a personal angle. Baccarini's eyes still haven't shown up. What if I look for whatever was used to remove them? Oh, it's probably the spoon. A teaspoon stained with blood and some kind of sticky liquid. A mixture of sticky liquid and blood can only mean one thing. The spoon was used to remove Baccarini's eyes. The mutilations and the disappearance of his eyes suggest two possible motives. Psychopathy or cultist fanaticism. Which is it? That's going to be the hand. Of human flesh. And the symbol. Kind of symbol drawn in blood. Although I don't know the origin of the symbol in the bathroom and the altar of flesh and teeth, I'd say the motive was some kind of occult religion. The big question is, who did it? Oh, this is cool as hell now that I know how to use it. The lamp, torn off its brackets and blocking the stairs. Okay, back. We gotta look for more clues, more clues. The blood comes from the other side of the corridor and ends next to the body. He was attacked in the other room and dragged to the hall. What do we got, another body? Hmm. The evidence suggests that the events began in the lounge. How did Baccarini encounter his murderer? Definitely signs of a struggle. Whatever crushed the table must have been really heavy. Or maybe it was thrown extremely hard. Probably used Baccarini, man. Threw him like a rag doll. Shook him like a doll. Dent, as if someone had tried to hammer in a gigantic bolt. Around four inches in diameter. Or a glass cup. Blood ran like water. Scratched the wood. Blood. Blood everywhere. What kind of person takes off a wristwatch without unfastening it? Or fastens the strap again after taking it off? Kind of man that got his hands ripped off, not took it off. Did it break during the struggle, or was it already broken? This was opened recently. Hey, same brand as we drink. Oh, that's hard to say. We'll go with integrity. Don't want to leave our DNA behind. Smells of whiskey. There's something under there. How did it wind up under there? Not one round fired. It must have happened fast. 
Glass on the floor indicates the window was broken from outside. Hmm. Well, what's in here? What is it with Italians and olives? They lap those things up like caviar. Well, they kind of delicious. Like a true bachelor, he should have put these into soak. Hours of scraping to get them clean. Although at this stage, I don't think Baccarini's too worried about that. True that. Four glasses. Two of water, two of wine. I've always been a whiskey man, but I know a good wine when I see one. Leftover lasagna. And it looks good. Why is it that two out of three Italian gangsters are great cooks? I'll never understand what the deal is with them in cooking. The plates and the glasses leave no room for doubt. Baccarini had company for dinner. Alright. Didn't use a knife, huh? What's the deal one's missing? One knife's missing. The biggest one. The biggest one. Oh no, not the littlest knife. They stole the big one. Hmm. Shut from the inside. It opens onto the same room as the jammed door in the corridor. Alright, let's see what's going on. Start with the assault. A pistol, fully loaded. Have them fast. Pieces of glass from the window in the hall found inside the house. A broken whiskey glass found in the dining room. Oh, that's not it. An open bottle of whiskey. I'd say Baccarini was drinking in the dining room when his assailant burst in through the window. Baccarini pulled his gun, but the murderer disarmed him before he could shoot. Where did the torture begin? Uh, probably where he the tore his hands off. Watch, with the glass broken and the strap fastened. A broken whiskey glass found in the dining room. No. A broken table, scratched and covered in blood. Two pools of blood, one on either side of the dining room table. The blood stains show that the murderer began to torture Baccarini on the dining table itself. That was where his hands were torn off. As a result, his wristwatch fell to the ground. How did the body reach its current position? The trail of blood from the dining room to the hall. What looks like the bottom of a broken glass buried in Baccarini's bag. A broken whiskey glass found in the... No. The lamp. Torn off its brackets and blocked Baccarini, already minus hands, was dragged into the hall, where the murderer used the brackets of the lamp to complete his macabre diorama. Oh, what about the guest? Dirty plates, glasses, and silverware from a dinner for two. The dirty dishes and glasses prove that Baccarini ate lasagna with one other person. Was Baccarini's guest still in the house when the murderer showed up? A door in the kitchen, blocked from the inside. No, okay. It opens onto the sink. A door in the corridor, jammed shut. It opens on. Let's see what else we can find. I'm not seeing any other clues. Nothing's jumping out at me. A broken whiskey glass found in the dining room. Wait, that 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 counted? What looks like the bottom of a broken glass. It seems clear that Baccarini and his guest were drinking when the murderer took them by surprise. The real question is, what happened to the witness? Did they escape? Did the murderer take them? Or are they still in the house? Now I can the use kitchen, these. Locked from the door in the corridor, jammed shut. One locked door could be a coincidence. 
But two locked doors which open onto the same room can't be. Either I'm completely wrong, or the witness is in that room. But I need Milton to open one of those doors. Oh, I got the gun. Mr. Ness, can you open the door for me? Was, was that my gun making the noise? That fly just went silent once I got one in my pocket. You ring? I thought I should use the doorbell so I wouldn't startle you. I didn't notice there was a doorbell. Says the man Milton had left in charge of an important investigation. So, what can you tell me to restore my faith in you as a detective? Every damn time. What is that? Not a good start. It's a camera, so Alphonse can see all this. All right, follow me. Baccarini had company for dinner. Someone from Vermont with the initials OB. Someone whose social status was a lot higher. But who was on the same side of the law. Okay. He served lasagna, and after clearing away the dishes, they opened a bottle of whiskey in the dining room. That was when the murderer burst in on them, coming through the window which he broke with his own body weight. Baccarini, or maybe his guest, pulled a gun, but it was a waste of time. The murderer was so fast he was disarmed before he could fire. He focused his attention on Baccarini, totally ignoring the guest, and lifted him up into the air. He then threw him against the dining room table so hard that one of the glasses of whiskey was embedded in Baccarini's back. He span around, clawing at the table, and immediately afterwards the murderer ripped off his hands. Damn. I have no idea how he did it, but all the evidence suggests he just pulled. Blood sprayed everywhere. The wristwatch fell to the ground. He dragged him through the corridor into the hall. He tore down the lamp, hung him from the brackets, and stabbed steel rods through his body. He skewered him on the iron bars, possibly taken from the fence outside, and pulled out his teeth one by one. Finally, he scooped out his eyes with a teaspoon. Baccarini must have been dead when the murderer went to the bathroom with his hands in his teeth. There, he arranged them to make an altar, weaving the fingers together and placing the teeth inside. Next, he painted something on the wall in blood, a symbol which I don't recognize, but which could have some kind of ritualistic significance. When he'd finished his artwork, he left. I don't know what he did with the eyes. You're telling me that someone did all this on with a teaspoon? More or less. And you worked all this out on your own, some, just by looking. Yes, sir. More or less. I don't know which of the two of you scares me more. Wait a second. What about the guest? Right. Come with me. All right, kick it open. Nothing. Turns out Mr. Untouchable isn't infallible, but you were close. Congratulations. This must be Baccarini's office. Let's take a quick look around. All yours. Thanks for the help, man. Look for clues. He's a clue. Well, let's get to know him a little bit. We never went to jail, but what are you reading? You're at a crime scene, and you sit down to read? Titus Andronicus. One of the actors on the Hindenburg lent it to me. They're performing it soon. You couldn't ask for more appropriate reading material. Murder, mutilation, torture. <laughs> Shakespeare's got it all. We've lost the only lead we had to help us find Sophia Capone. You think Baccarini's murder could be related? Maybe. It's hard to say. It has to be. It's in the same game. Why'd you go to jail? For murder, but... You didn't do it, of course. Of course I did it. But I didn't intend to. Alright. Jesus. There's at least 
least a million dollars oh here. hell yeah it's mine now and I will shoot you mm -hmm. in the chest Bacarides? to take it I'd be surprised probably his guests and I doubt it was to pay Baccarini for his services none of his forgeries are worth that much so what's it doing here it's mine now it's like they're gonna come claim it from lost and found Carlo I have the goods for OB but I have to take the children to school tomorrow and I can't make the meetup. Friday, same time, same place. Same time, same place. It's signed and I. Mm-hmm. These initials are getting to be a pain in the ass, right? I have to take the kids to school tomorrow. I don't think this is some loving divorced daddy, Milton. Ah, I take back what I just said. The driver's license of one John Martinson and Osmond Burke. There's our OB. OB. Mm. Do we know him? Nope. The eldest son of the richest family in Vermont, convicted rapist. Yes, we do know him. He was arrested thanks to the testimony of his father, who wound up disinheriting him. He escaped from prison last week. He broke into the family home and slit the throats of all his relatives one by one, opened the safe, and got away with a fortune. Uh, they don't make jails like they used to. All starting to add up, isn't it? Ah! Out of my way! Ow! Ow! Oh, you need to chill out. Chill. Chill. Aw, oh, shit. My motherfucking throat. All starting to add up, isn't it? Oh, crazy dude. Out of my way. Ow. Ow. Oh. S. Ow. W. D. Ow. W. Ow. Do Jawap. Hey. Help me out. <laughs> Help me. This is not an Xbox. Come on, come on, come on. Snap his wrist. Pimp smack. Twice. Three times I smack. Yeah, punch him in the throat, smack him again. He goes for the knife again. Punch him. What was he like? Describe him for me. He was a monster. Red and black. I mean, his head reached the ceiling. He, he tore off his hands with his claws. It was a monster. A monster. Should I hit him again? Yeah. Just for general purposes. You're Osmond Burke, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Good. Now pay attention, Burke, because I have a question for you. Got a question. Who wrote this note? Uh, Nikolai Ivankov. Rings a bell. One of Capone's right-hand men 20 years ago. What does this stuff about kids mean? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Calm down, Burke. You were going to meet up with him, right? Yes, uh, yeah, at the docks, uh, uh, berth 42, right, right next to where um, where, where the uh, Allig Alligator 3 is moored. So what's the meetup time? Uh, t tomorrow, tomorrow at, uh, uh, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow noon, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, it's going to be tonight. Uh, uh. Don't get too comfortable. We'll be there in no time. Should we go? Let's go to the diner. There are certain types of people I don't allow in my diner. But today, I have no choice but to make an exception. I'm afraid not, Mr. Ness. I have to take him to Alphonse. Out of the question. I know his temper. 
He'll beat him to a to pulp. A pulp? Listen, if the missing girl was your granddaughter, you wouldn't forgive me if I didn't let you see the only suspect who could lead us to her. Okay. Oh, all depressed. <laughs> Alright everybody, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. See you guys next time.